Silicon Valley, I don't know a single successful entrepreneur who hasn't had at least one huge failure behind him. And by the way, the failures may not have been the first entrepreneurial venture that they did. The failure might come in the second venture or the third venture because in tough, competitive global markets, success is not guaranteed in any venture, even if you've had three successful ventures before. So here in Silicon Valley, people wear failure as a badge of ultimate business success, and there's absolutely no shame whatsoever, no negativity whatsoever attached to failure. The only shame is if you've had a failure and you've learned nothing from it, the only shame is if you've had a failure and you, you do exactly the same things, the same way, to guarantee another failure, that's a shame. But other than that, there is no shame in failure. If you look at uh, the uh, first company that I built, CompuGuard Corporation, its level of growth and revenue fell far short of what I expected in my business plan. So it did not fail as a company, but it failed to achieve its business plan, and I certainly considered it to be a failure. If you take my second company, uh, American Robot, which many other people consider to be a successful company, I personally feel was a mediocrity, you know, somewhere between failure and success. And the reason is that in the end, I was not able to make a commercial success out of the robotics business, which is what I was trying to do through American Robot, my second company. Uh, the flip side of that, is even though I was unsuccessful in building a profitable robotics business, I was successful in improvising the strategy, in uh, transforming the strategy, and instead building a software company that focused on computer integrated manufacturing. So the robotics piece of American Robot was a failure. The ability to improvise and transform the strategy to move in a completely new direction and create a whole new range of software products for manufacturing, that was a success. So you can have a success and a failure in the same company at the same time. Failure comes hard. Overachieving people find it very difficult to cope with failure. And yet cope with failure we must if we want to get to the next level. So one of the most humbling lessons that I've had to, uh, to learn in my career is that Failure is not an indictment of my personal worth, of my uh, self-esteem, of my ability to rise up again and keep moving forward. If I had chosen to accept failure as a defeat and a permanent defeat, I would never have you know, gotten past it and never have been able to build the companies I've been able to build. The ability to accept failure as simply another one of life's lessons, where some lessons are positive, some lessons are negative, all lessons are lessons to be learned from, that's the way we must all learn to accept failure. That's the way in which I've accepted failure, and I must say that ability to accept failure, rise above it, move on, has been a very important uh, part of my ability to grow. Entrepreneurship is about risk-taking, but it's about sensible risk-taking. It's about risk management. When you start a business, you're always going to have risk. Your ability to succeed as an entrepreneur depends on your ability to reduce that risk to the lowest possible level.